see there. Hey guys, JH, welcome to the practice tee. Okay, we're just going to go on with the standard theme that we've had. We're not going to change course at all. All we're going to do is reinforce some of the denominators and the principles. And it's the same. It's the fist grip. And I'm actually having a little bit more fist grip on my right hand. It's the ball back. Start up in this manner here. Right foot, left foot, step away. Then you'll have a consistent methodology to start your swing every single time. That's the good thing about it. It'll be consistent, nothing will change. If you've got a foundation, a, a perfect consistent foundation to start your swing, you've got a chance of hitting the ball consistently. But if you come in and it's ad hoc and your ball position is in a different place and your body alignment's you know, all over the place, you'll get a big difference in results. Now, why do we have our body alignment and in different results? Because we're not specific enough and there's not enough discipline at the setup. If you come in with the correct geometry, and the correct geometry is this, guys. Set the golf club in your hands. Set it up. Put it down behind the ball, like that. See this? Now that's good. I've got a really good triangular base there, and all my geometry vectors are, are consistent. Then I just basically come up here, and I'm in the same position every time. The geometry base never changes. And that's what I'm trying to get across to guys. If you don't have a consistent geometry base at address, you've got no chance of hitting consistent golf shots. None. And that's why the good players, the tour players, are so meticulous in this aspect. Norman, Greg Norman was the best. This was Greg. And I've watched him hit thousands of golf balls. This is Greg. It's Greg. I've done a lot of that myself because I got a bit infected from watching him hit thousands of golf balls. Guys, dead cold golf swing, and this is the beauty of this golf swing. You can just step straight up, get our fist grip, a little bit in the right hand. Play the ball back. Ratchet. ball goes dead straight. <laughs> you know the reality here guys, it can't do anything else. If you're set up correctly and you start to swing the same every time, how can the shot be different? It just can't be different. But if you have an indifferent approach to setting up, your shots will be indifferent. Same shot every time, guys. Doesn't change. And that's a good thing, you can be dead cold, just step up and you can just hammer the ball. I love the fist grip, and I love the club inside the ball. And I love some shaft angle. Just perfect contact off the face. They're just dead centre hits. Guys, if you want to be consistent, you've got to do this. The fist grip. Here we go. Toe inside the ball, off the right foot. Left foot up, right foot to balance. Big ratchet. That little individual tape I did where I said the swing is trapped, the swing is trapped. This is how you trap your golf swing. 
it can't escape. If you apply these denominators and you do it by the numbers, this is one, the fist grip, two is the setup off the right foot, three is the club inside, inside the golf ball, and four is a double ratchet. Now that's what I'm going to work on. I actually want to try and have a golf swing where I get a set and then another set like this. This is my ultimate game uh, uh, goal. I want to go. I want to load and then double load. It's called a double shot load. Like a double shot coffee. We're going to put one shot, two shots. Now that's going to be hard to do because I've never done that. <clears throat> but I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work towards that. And for guys who are very flexible and then have a long golf swing anyway, <clears throat> the only reason you have a long golf swing is you've got no torque in your golf swing. <clears throat> Excuse me. You've got to create more torque. This creates the torque, guys. The knock-need effect. As soon as I go in there and I have the pressure on the insides of my thighs and, uh, and my buttocks are nice and firm, I create a lot of torque on my midriff here as I take it away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The ratchet. But if I've got none, if I'm just standing there like this, the legs extended, and I take it away, I can stay up here forever. I've got nothing to start me down. But what's the difference with my goal swing? If I push it back, I can't stay there any longer. So much tension. Now for the guys who've got big long loopy swings, it's invariably it's because you've got no torque in your golf swing at a dress. So we're going to try and double shot and double ratchet this. Haven't tried this yet, but I thought of it driving over here today. And I, and I alluded to it a little bit in that tape from uh, yesterday. So double ratchet. Wow. Now as I said guys, if if my double ratchet constitutes getting my shoulders to turn another two inches, that's all I need. That's just an entirely different impact. And, uh, and of course the uh, wind has come up on the JH range again. Here we go. By the numbers. Double ratchet. Now my buddy Pete sitting over here in the chair, he's hurt his knee and he's having a little bit of uh, rest and recuperation, but uh, he hasn't seen me for since last, for about five days or six days. Uh, and when I started this, we were saying, uh, I've done those few videos and I said that in those videos I never missed a shot and I haven't missed a shot. And these shots are dead straight as Pete can see. Okay, now a little bit more emphasis on the right axis, the stalk. I'm gonna, this is going to get a bit repetitious guys, but this is all I want to do. I just want to keep building this in. So it just becomes second nature. So I'm going to emphasize the ratchet and the stalk effect. Can't hit the ball badly, guys. Well, you can only hit it. <laughs> you can only hit it, you know, basically just dead solid perfect every time. Okay. Lots of shaft angle, lots of ratchet. It's just great. We'll come back, guys.